All right, good morning. It is, boy, what is today? Sunday. It is Sunday. Hey, Doug. How are you doing? Good. Doug's, Doug's my host here in uh, Chesapeake and uh, was very gracious in allowing me to stay both on the front side and back side of the brothers trip and uh, at the Great Bridge boat ramp. And uh, it's kind of funny not being able to have the, not having the ski and you know I took the ski in for service and so of course all the stuff comes off the ski it's just and now putting it back on is like where where did that go <laughs> or uh, where did where is that you know so getting it all all put back together but um, looking forward to it and a lot of people have asked me you know are you ready to ride again and between just doing a brain dump on brother's trip and then just the logistics of uh, yesterday of returning the Jeep, returning the camper, like picking up the ski. I, I really just haven't thought about it too much. Um, but the one good thing is I have a riding partner. Um, so a classmate of mine from Syracuse, Nebraska, lives out here uh, on the Chesapeake. And so uh, when I started talking to her, I, I was asking her questions, you know, local knowledge kind of a thing. And she's like, great loop, what's that? And she started uh, really digging into it and she's like, I'll ride with you for a day uh, and so yeah we're gonna ride uh, actually she's gonna end up riding a few days here assuming all goes well so all right time to get the stuff on the ski all right Stacy got here and her husband Chris look at that she's ready to roll and so we're just comparing machines she's got the uh, nice suspension going on kind of like a not air ride but pretty darn close and uh, so yeah, we've got a simple day today, right Stacy? It's like 65 miles. I have to point out my new seat from HydroTurf. They whipped it up for me in one day. Nice. Clearwater, Florida. Clearwater, that's that's awesome with the stitching. And Dan from Top Creek Canvas put it on for me in less than one day. You got it going. So yeah, we'll probably do what, the Navy Yard and the Lighthouse and it's easy for me because Stacy's lives what? Well, about 60 miles from here, and so she knows she knows where to go. I do. All right, should we put them in? The guys are like, "Come on, guys, let's go." <laughs> well, hey, Stacy, what are you doing here? Oh, I just thought I'd stop by and see my friend Mike. Oh, sweet. He came all this way. That's right. All this way, yep. and now kind of heading home, if you will, but. We have an absolute gorgeous morning here for riding. Flat waters. It's going to last all day long just like this. Really. Probably not. So for the entire trip, uh, jellyfish have been out there. But holy cow, are they out there now. Uh, there's very easy to see one there one there and uh, so the weather's warmed up I guess enough to uh, there there's kind of a season to them if you will but I don't think I'm gonna be getting off the jet ski and Stacy's confirmed that yeah they sting <laughs> making our way uh, through up to Norfolk here and uh, we're uh, happily just going along at idle there's just so much to look at uh, so many different things to see um, and Stacy pointed out that the the Marriott up here um, is where the Star Wars annual Star Wars convention is uh, and so it's always a, a, a big to do and <laughs> people walking around the streets with all their costumes and stuff so uh, that's interesting and of course we got the water side there um, and uh, 
lots of uh, military vessels here, we'll just say. And uh, th this is this is good. Lots and lots to look at. No reason to buzz through this. Well, we're coming out of uh, out of the Norfolk Bay area, and Navy Yard there, and uh, man, it is just a gorgeous, gorgeous day. A great way to start skiing again, right? Of, am I ready to go ski another 3,200 miles, whatever it is? It's like, yeah, but if I would have been greeted with pounders, then. Uh, okay, suck it up, here we go. But I can dig this. It'll change, I know, it's the Chesapeake. Well, this little beauty could be yours for just under 300,000, so I'm told. Oh yeah, it's got potential. Right, Jolene? Just be a little boat ride out, you know, to go get your groceries and go run to Walmart. Coming into Gwyn Island. We're gonna go eat at the hole in the wall. Really. So I've been told. Had a good run today. Uh, started out super smooth and then we got a little tiny, tiny little taste of the Chesapeake. It was started doing one footers, uh, which became twos, but it was uh, it was a good day all in all. I'll take take that um, and then tomorrow I am going to work boo hoo uh, been off for a week and a half so I gotta pay the bills so this is an oyster bed kind of a little uh, hatchery I guess uh, Stacy was telling me about it and then uh, collect the oysters and I process them over here. So believe it or not, that is the first time on this trip that I have stopped to eat lunch before truly ending the day. Granted, we only have like a mile or so run to back to the where the ramp is, but um, yeah, first time in the whole trip. Not so bad. Well, this is uh, where Stacy and Chris live. Um, they were gonna put me up on on the lift, but it's like, well, since Stacy's riding too, we'll just put them up on the dual trailer that they got and that makes a lot more sense so off to the boat ramp I love golf cart communities
So that was uh, Sunday's ride, um, and now Monday here is a work day for me. So uh, Stacy and Chris have a camping trailer um, out here at a, uh, a Thousand Island campground, uh, but it is a great setup. This will be my office for the day. Not so bad. Um, and uh, pretty cool. I'll just uh, kind of look out the windows here. This is what I'll be looking at while I'm going through my emails and having my conference calls and all that jazz. But uh, So we pause Monday and then we start writing again uh, Tuesday. And uh, we'll see you then.